Good day everyone! Our lesson for today is all about multiplication of radicals. Uh, radicals, rather. So when we say multiplication, you are asked to find the product. So if, if you are asked what is the product of the following, I have here uh, four examples. Let's focus on the first example. How do we get the product of negative 5 square root of 6 times 2 square root of 3? So if you need to get the product of this, uh, multiply the coefficient first. So in negative 5 times 2, it is negative 10. Then multiply the two radicands. 6 times 3, it is 18. Since... 18 has a perfect square factor. We need to factor 18 by a perfect and not perfect. So that's why we have 9 times 2. And 9 is a perfect square. It becomes 3. Then it will be multiplied to your coefficient here outside, negative 10. Then copy square root of 2, which is the remaining radical. So your final product of these two is negative 30, which, is, which comes from negative 10 times 3, then copy square root of 2. So this is now your product for this first example. For second example, you have square root of 2ab times 3 square root of 6ab. So first, multiply the coefficient. You have 1 here. 1 times 3. It is 3. Then, radicand 2AB times radicand 6AB, it is 12 com comes from 2 times 6. And then, A times A, you have A squared. Then, B times B is B squared. So, I already taught you how to simplify not perfect and truth. So, 12 is not perfect, but A squared and B squared is perfect. So 12, factor it by a perfect square number, which is 4, times 3. This is per not perfect, this is perfect. Which, these two are per a factor of 12. So 4, square root of 4 is perfect, it becomes 2. Then it will be multiplied to your numerical coefficient 3 here. Then, uh, a raised to 2 over 2. Your power is 2 over the index, which is 2. Then for B, your power is 2 over the index, which is also 2. So this becomes 2 divided by 2, A raised to 1. Then B raised to 2 divided by 2, B raised to 1. The remaining not perfect radicand is 3. So square root of 3. Then simplifying further, just remove the... 1 exponent, then multiply this 2, so you have 3 times 2, 6, uh, AB, square root of 3. So this is now your product for these two radical expression. Radical expressions, uh, if you're going to multiply, this is now the product. Okay, next example is 3 square root of 2x, times 5 square root of 11x. So, multiply first the numerical coefficient. 3 times 5, 15. Then, uh, radicand 2x times radicand 11x, 22x squared. 22 is not perfect. Why? Because the factors are uh, 2 times 10. 2 is not perfect, 11 is not perfect. So, just it will remain inside the radical x squared is perfect. Why? Be because your exponent can be divided by index 2. So x raised to 2 over 2. So your final uh, product for this 2 is 15 x raised to 1. Where does this came from? x raised to 2 over 2 which is 1. Then the not perfect which is 22 will remain inside the radical sign. So the final product is 15 x square root of 22. 22 cannot be simplified anymore. Okay. So, fourth example, you have cube root. So, the first three examples are square roots. 
Here in the fourth example, this is cube root. So, negative 3 cube root of A, A, B times negative 7 cube root of 6A squared B cubed. So, how do we multiply this? Same process, multiply the coefficients first. So, this is negative 3 times negative 7, positive 21 because we have same sign. Negative times negative, it's positive. Then, copy the cube root of multiply the radicands. So, 8 times 6, it is 48. A times A squared. So, what, what do we do here? Just add the exponent. So, you have 1 here plus 2, it becomes A cubed. So, for B, you have 1 here plus 3, it becomes B to the 4. Now, simplifying because you can simplify this not perfect cube root. So, 21 just stay here. Then, factor 48 with a perfect cube. So, factor 48 by 8 times 6. 8 is a perfect cube and 6 is not. Then, your A cube can be divided by 3. So, this is perfect. 3 divided by 3. And b to the 4th is not perfect. So separate uh, 4 by 3 and 1. So we have here 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. So it will remain inside the radical. b raised to 1 will remain inside. Okay, so simplifying further, 8 becomes 2. Why? Because you have here. 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8. So 2 cube is equal to 8. So cube root of 8 is 2. Then where where this a raised to 1 uh, come from? Here. a raised to 3 divided by 3, that is 1. For b divided by uh, 3 divided by 3, that is also 1. And then the remaining not perfect is your 6 and your b. So it will remain inside the radical symbol which is cube root of 6b. Simplifying further, you will multiply this 21 times 2. This is now uh, 42 AB. 21 times 2, 42. Copy AB without the exponent 1. Just remove the exponent. Then the remaining not perfect is cube root of 6B. So this is now your final product. 42 AB cube root of 6B. So that will be our lesson for today. For those who can't understand the lesson, just repeat the video and then make, make it as your learning process. Thank you.